we're going to look at the trapezoidal rule. If, if we have a curve here, and we want to approximate the area under the curve, the area under the curve is approximated much closely with trapezoids than it is with rectangles. If we use, let's say, right Riemann approximation method, look how much overestimate we would have here. Well, if we use a trapezoid, it's going to follow the curve a lot closer than what rectangles would. So if we have uh, the first rectangle starting at x sub 0 and uh, ending at x sub 1, and then the set there's the first trapezoid, then the second one starts at x sub 1 and ends at x sub 2, and so on. We have three, four, let's say five trapezoids to estimate the area under this curve. Well, the area of a trapezoid is one half base one plus base two times the height. So we have five trapezoids that we're going to have to find the area of. So the first one is one half times. The base is the, the y value at zero here, or in this case x sub zero. So the first base is y sub zero, and the second base is y sub one. And if the heights are all the same, in other words, this distance right here, if they're all the same, uh, we're just going to call that h. So the next trapezoid is one half times. Here's the second trapezoid right here, and its first base is y sub one. So we have y sub one, and the next base is actually y sub two. And we have times h plus one half times y sub two plus y sub three. There's y sub. 2 and y sub 3 for the third trapezoid times h plus 1 half times y sub 3 plus y sub 4 times h. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 trapezoids. There's the fourth one. And then the fifth one is plus 1 half times y sub 4 plus y sub 5 times h. Well, we can factor out the 1 halves and the h's. So we have h over 2 times, and what we have left is y sub 0 plus y sub 1 plus y sub 1 plus y sub 2 plus y sub 2 plus y sub 3 plus y sub 3 plus y sub 4 plus y sub 4 and finally plus y sub 5. That's what we'd have left when we factored out the 1 halves and the h's. Well we can condense this a little bit because we have two of the middle y's and one on the outside. That's because the middle bases are going to be shared uh, amongst the trapezoids. So this one's only used once. But this one's used twice for the first and the second trapezoid. And then y sub 2 will be used for the second and the third. So the middle ones are used twice and the outside ones are only used once. So we have y sub 0 plus 2y sub 1 plus 2y sub 2 plus 2y sub 3 plus 2y sub 4, and finally y sub 5. Well, here's a trapezoidal rule according to the book. To approximate the area into the curve of f of x dx u's, there's the h over 2 from the formula 1 half a sub 1 plus a sub 2 times h. The h over 2 is factored out. And then the first y and the last y are only used once, and then here are the middle y values, which are used twice. That's why you see a 2 in front of all of them. Where a, a to b is partitioned into n subintervals of equal length, h equals b minus a over n, equivalently. So if you're going from, let's say, 1 to 5 with 4 subintervals, then that'd be, uh, I guess it'd be 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 over 4, that'd be 4 over 4, so each would be worth 1. The height of each of the trapezoids would be 1. Now the trapezoidal approximation is like averaging LRAM and RRAM. In example one, we're going to apply the trapezoidal rule. And using the trapezoidal rule with n equals 4 to estimate integral from 1 to 2 of x squared dx. Compare the estimate with the value of well, the actual value. So let's draw a parabola. And we're going from 1 to 2. And we're going to split into four trapezoids. So that'll be one and a fourth. That'll be one and a half and one and three fourths. Because we're going from uh, t a one to two, so we take two minus one, 
divided by 4, so each is worth a fourth. So we want, uh, well, each is worth a fourth. There's the height over 2 times f of 1 plus f of 1 and 1 fourth plus f of 1 and a half plus f of 1 and 3 fourths and then plus f of 2, but we want to double these middle ones because they're used twice. So now remember the function is x squared. If we multiply this one by 4 on the top and the bottom we get 1 eighth and this is going to be 5 fourths this is 3 halves that's 1 and a half and this is going to be 7 fourths so we're going to square each of those numbers so we have 1 plus 2 times 25 sixteenths plus 2 times 9 fourths plus 2 times 49 uh, sixteenths and then we have plus 4 so we have 1 eighth times uh, 1 plus 25 eighths plus 9 halves plus 49 eighths and then plus 4 Well, the common denominator is going to be 8, so we have 8 eighths plus 25 eighths plus 36 eighths plus 49 eighths, and then finally plus 32 eighths. Now, if we add these together, let's see, 8 and 25 is 33, another 36 is 69 plus another 49 is, let's see, 8 to carry the 1, 118, and then finally 32 is 150. So this is going to be 1 eighth times 150 over 8. And so we have 150 over 64. Now let's compare that to the actual answer. We're going to use our calculator here. And uh, let's see, I want math number 9, F-N-I-N-T, this is x squared, comma x, and we're going from 1 to 2, which is 2 and a third. If we take 150 divided by 64, there's the approximation. So this is really an overestimate. So the answer is... 150 over 64, and it is an over estimate. Well, if we look at the trapezoids, let's say we used one trapezoid to estimate this. From here to there, we're going to have a little bit of a gap. That's probably not the best. There we go. That's probably a little better. It's still an overestimate because the graph is concave up, increasing and concave up. That'll give you an overestimate. In example two, an observer measures the outside temperature every hour from noon until midnight, recording the temperatures in the following table. What was the average temperature for the 12 hour period? Well, the average temperature is going to be 1 12th times the integral from 0 to 12 of some sort of function that gives us the, the temperature. Well, we don't have this function, so we're going to have to come up with another way to. Uh, get this value here, the area under the curve, and we're going to use the trapezoidal method. Now each of these is separated by one hour, so that's going to be the height of the trapezoids is one. So we have one twelfth times uh, one half, because it'd be one over two, times sixty three plus two times sixty five plus two times sixty six, and we're going to keep on going so we get to the last one, which will be 55. So this part right here represents the area under the curve. And then to get average value, we're going to have to take that times 1 12th. Well, if you do this part on the calculator, you get a value of 782. So remember, we're trying to find average value of these temperatures. So I imagine it would be somewhere in the 60s. So if you end up with an answer of 782, hopefully you recognize that 
you've left off something, and that something would be dividing by 12. So when you take 782 divided by 12, you get 65.17.